Tulare FFA has a very rich history dating back to 1922 and still does. Uh, our chapter was founded on uh, principles of premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. Students learn how to work efficiently and think clearly in order to reach their full potential. Tulare FFA is part of a national organization that develops selfless leaders who become the future of agriculture. The wide array of opportunity provided to our students allows them to find fire in the workplace. Three schools, one chapter. Students from Mission Oak, Tulare Western, and Tulare Union are able to come together at the Tulare Agricultural Complex. As one of the largest chapters in California, Tulare FFA is home to 888 members. Built on 90 acres of land, the farm encompasses everything from our ornamental horticulture unit to our on-campus dairy. After 98 years of rich history, we advanced our facility with the new establishment of a building, new breeding unit, and CDE and LDE opportunities. With these new additions, we have created a more accessible learning environment while still maintaining the base roots of our chapter. Agriculture education is comprised of three components, classroom instruction, supervised agriculture experience projects, and the FFA. The first ring is classroom instruction. Students are able to engage in 14 unique courses offered at the Tulare Agriculture Department, ranging from mechanics to floriculture. These hands-on courses provide students the skills they will then exert within their SAE projects and FFA competitions. Through both ag and career technical education, Tulare FFA members are given the opportunities to thrive in the agriculture industry. Tulare FFA has created leaders through agriculture education who will be the fuel for our nation's number one industry. Supervised Agriculture Experience Projects, the second ring in the agriculture education model. Members create and maintain an agriculture-related project their freshman through senior year within our chapter to engage the skills that they've learned in the classroom. It falls into a variety of four categories, entrepreneurship, placement, research, and exploratory. These could range a home landscaping project to livestock production. First-hand projects promote production in agriculture, which is the cornerstone of America and the base of our chapter. Tiller FFA encompasses the diversity of our students' projects. Open event is vital to agriculture education. These competitions, along with LDEs, are the third ring in the Ag Ag model. Tulare FFA encompasses a variety of unique events grapevine pruning, ag mechanics, farm power, meat and carcass judging, and dairy products are just a few of the competitive teams offered within our program. These competitions combine both skills gained from SAE projects and classroom instructions in order to help students gain experience in agriculture. Events like these have assisted to learn fame becoming an outstanding and goal-oriented chapter. Career leadership events give students a head start for their future careers by developing skills needed to be successful in the agriculture industry. Not only does Tulare FFA give students the opportunities to practice hard skills through competitions, but also gives them the opportunities to practice soft skills through public speaking. Competitions such as job interview, prepared public speaking, ag issues, and extemporaneous public speaking give students the opportunities to thrive in the agriculture industry. These events build confidence, improve critical thinking, and create public presentation awareness to help further students in their ability to be successful. Conferences and conventions are there for students to learn more leadership skills. At these conferences, students are able to travel and meet new members for more opportunities and friendships that will last a lifetime. At these conferences, students will join sessions, workshops, and learn leadership skills. At the end, they'll be concluded with being able to learn and use these leadership skills in all kinds of activities later on in life. Advisors and staff of Tulare FA are the backbone to our facility in agriculture education. 
Our chapter couldn't be more appreciative of the long hours and efforts spent to ensure the future success of our members. The staff continues to embrace change by adding three new advisors and changing educational buildings. The advisors continually inspire positive culture and continue to include members daily. Here at Tulare FA, we would like to thank our advisors, administrators, and bus drivers for allowing the members of Tulare FA to become the best versions of ourselves. This year, our chapter implemented three committees to provide students an outlet to develop their skills as leaders. These committees include the Community Service Committee, the Strengthening Agriculture Committee, and the Student Development Committee. Through these, our chapter was able to increase member involvement, create new opportunities, and build a relationship in our community. Within this, we were able to involve 150 new members. members find their fire through various opportunities and prove so through their many achievements. Not only in the classroom, but in the industry as well. Tiller FFA members show their dedication through these opportunities. 131 FFA members have held office positions higher than the chapter level. 178 have won state championships. And 20 FFA members from Tulare have held national titles. These exceptional students through the years have shown that you can achieve any goal through passion and persistence. Agriculture is one of America's oldest and wisest pursuits. It's the cornerstone of our nation and the chapter we all call home, Tulare. In the breadbasket of the world and one of the top producing counties in food, fuel, fiber, and flora, Tulare FFA's agriculture roots run deep. We are supported and connected by a strong community of agriculturalists, which has sustained our program for decades. This industry is the reason why our organization exists. The Tulare FFA chapter strives to motivate and push students to be involved with agriculture in business, science, communications, production, mechanics, and so much more. We are proud to be Tulare FFA and the future of agriculture. 13 California State Star Farmers. 1,110 state farmer degrees. 290 American farmer degrees. Seven national proficiency award winners. 95 state champion proficiency awards. 24 state champion public speakers leading to five national champion public speakers. 59 state judging teams leading to two national championship judging teams. 780 chapter officers. 65 sectional officers, 56 regional officers, and 10 state officers. For decades, Tulare FFA's goal has been to help students find their fire through agriculture. The banquet hall will come to order. We are now holding the 2019-2020 Tulare FFA Award Ceremony. Madam Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President. The historian. Stationed by the chapter scrapbook. Your duties there? I keep a record of activities of the chapter and its members. I organize the chapter scrapbook and serve as a reference on chapter history. A good record of activities can be credit to the chapter. The parliamentarian. Stationed by Robert's Rules of Order, your duties there? It is my obligation to know and share information of parliamentary law and assist members with proper meeting procedure and etiquette so that we can accomplish the business of the chapter. The Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duties there? Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to the Virgin Islands and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there? 
I keep a record of receipts and disbursements, just as Washington kept his farm accounts, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among members and strive to build up our financial standings through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The Secretary. Stationed by the Air Corps, your duties there? I keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn has grown and FFA members meet. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I must advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and right with wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Madam President, for the final time, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The Secretary will call the roll of members. There are 20 members and guests present, Madam President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? <laughs> to practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and to develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. May we accomplish our purposes. I now declare this banquet duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. Good evening. My name is Amy Swall, Tulare FFA Chapter President, and on behalf of the 2019-2020 Chapter Officer Team, welcome to the Tulare FFA Awards Ceremony, and thank you for supporting our chapter by being here tonight. Please help me welcome this year's Chapter Officer Team to the front of the room. Historian, Madeline Fernandez. Parliamentarian, Bryce Nagel. Sentinel, Ari Prince. Reporter, Javier Monge. Treasurer, Emma Coelho. Secretary, Michaela Medeiros. Mission Oak Vice President, Joseph Pinero. Tulare Western Vice President, Chastine Gist. And Tulare Union Vice President, Alyssa Amaral. Tonight, we will be recognizing the achievements of our members throughout the 2019-2020 school year and will reward them for their involvement in the FFA at the chapter, section, region, state, and national levels. This year, our program has seen great successes even through unexpected circumstances. Even though this year has been one of unprecedented challenges, Tulare FFA members have continued to shine. Thank you for wearing the blue and gold jacket with pride. Parents and family members joining us tonight, you should be extremely proud of the time and work your students have invested in this past year, both in and outside of the classroom. It is because of your encouragement and belief in us that students wearing this blue jacket have been successful in the FFA. Thanks also to our Ag Advisors who have spent tireless hours working to ensure the, the success and future of the members of Tulare FFA this year. From early mornings competing at field days, late nights of chapter meetings, numerous judging team practices, speaking competitions, and fair week, our Ag teachers have promoted premier leadership, personal growth, and career success within our chapter. And finally, congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Thank you for all you have given to our chapter. You should be proud of your achievements and involvement in Tulare FFA. This class during their tenure has helped Tulare FFA have four state championships, over 100 state FFA degrees, four state proficiency award winners, spent hundreds of hours on SAE projects, attended leadership conferences across California, Indiana, and Washington, DC. We are a better chapter because of the time and dedication you have put into our program by being a member. We will miss you. Again, welcome and we hope you enjoy the evening we have planned for you. To begin our program, please welcome Mr. Daniel Dudo, Director of Agriculture, for his welcome.
Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to speak here. We would like to thank you all for joining us this evening for this year's FFA Awards presentation. We are pleased to be able to welcome those of you that have been with us for past presentations, as well as those families that are here for the first time. This is a chance to celebrate those students who have dedicated their time and effort to the Tulare FFA chapter and the Tulare Agriculture Program. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, the gym cannot be polished without friction, nor man perfected without trials. For the class of 2020, their final year of public education has been full of trials and adversity. From dealing with a complete shift in technology during the first semester to our current situation with school closures due to COVID-19. This class, as well as the other classes, have had to overcome situations that no one thought would have happened during their school career. Yet here they are, overcoming the trials that are set before them, shining like the diamonds that they are. So let us take a moment to celebrate this group of, of amazing students that have already overcome so many obstacles. I will now hand the mic back over to the 2020 Tulare FFA president, Ms. Amy Swall. I hope you all enjoy the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dudu, for being with us tonight and for helping us continue build the, to build the legacy of Tulare FFA. We appreciate your continued support of our program. Next, we will have a video message from our 2019-2020 State FFA Secretary and past Tulare FFA member, Lindsay Swall. Hi, Tulare FFA. I'm Lindsay Swall, a Tulare FFA alumni and past chapter president for two years. I graduated from Mission Oak High School in 2018 and ran for state office with the help of Mr. Coolwine in the spring of 2018. I made the ballot that year, but unfortunately lost my bid for office. I then attended Fresno State as a freshman plant science major. After Mr. Poolwine passed away in 2019, I made the difficult decision to run for state FFA office again. I felt lost without the guidance of Mr. Poolwine, but Mrs. Williams and Mr. Cotano stood by my side and led me to getting elected for the 2019-2020 term. I then took out a year of college and served as the California Association State FFA Secretary this year. I have traveled the state and nation representing this amazing organization and advocating for California agriculture. It has been a life-changing experience to say the least. And due to the pandemic, I have not officially retired. We all missed out on having a state FFA leadership conference this year. I looked forward to leading the convention with my team in front of nearly 10,000 members and guests, where my hope was to make Tulare FFA proud. My team and I are preparing to film a virtual leadership celebration in its place, and it will air in June. I hope you and all of your families will watch and celebrate our members who have achieved, as well as my official retirement of the organization that I love. Tulare FFA has had numerous state officers throughout the years, and I am honored to be listed amongst them. As a freshman in our chapter, I never dreamed that I would become one, much less serve our chapter's president as two terms. I share this with you because I hope that my story of loss and growth will inspire some of you. Nothing in this organization is beyond your grasp, whether it's a state proficiency, scholarship, judging team championship, or office. Do not think it is too big for you. There are many opportunities at our chapter level, but it doesn't stop there. Ask your advisors to support your dreams of achieving beyond Tulare FFA. Because I've lived in this uniform for the past 12 months, my team and I were given several association jackets. Over the years, state officers from our chapter have gifted one of their jackets back to our chapter as a way to commemorate their year and say thank you. I'm honored to give you one of my jackets, but I would like it to say more than just thank you. I want it to say I can. I can set my dreams high. I can push through the losses and frustrations, and I can achieve my goals. I'm happy to give back and help in any way to Larry FFA. Thank you, and you can. Thank you. Lindsay, thank you for serving the membership of California FFA. We are so proud of you and excited that you served the membership of California FFA for this past year. Thank you for being a role model for the members of Tulare FFA. Now, Mr. Castle will announce the Agriculture Scholarship recipients for the class of 2020.
I'd like to start off by congratulating all of the hard work that uh, this year's seniors put in um, and recognize them for all the scholarships that they've earned. Uh, starting out with the Tulare FFA Booster Scholarship, uh, there were four students earning the $1,000 uh, amount, starting with Amy Swall for Mission Oak, Alyssa Amaral, Tulare Union, Chastine Giss, Tulare Western, Madeline Fernandez, Mission Oak. Receiving the amount of $750, Joseph Pinero, Ari Prinz, Jacob Fernandez, Javier Monge, Gianna Benedetti. In the amount of $500, Joseph Cohen, Rebecca Meza. In the amount of $250, Bryson Schaefer, Haley Matheny, and Taylor Reed. Receiving the Growing Gold FFA scholarship in the amount of $500 is Ari Prinz from Mission Oak. Receiving the Zenith Insurance California FFA Scholarship for the amount of $1,000, Amy Swall, Mission Oak. For, uh, receiving the Dean McNeely Scholarship from California FFA for the amount of $1,000, Javier Monhe. Receiving the Dick Bramer Award of $250, Javier, Javier Monhe. Receiving the California Farm Management Scholarship in the amount of $5,000, Madeline Fernandez. Receiving the Tulare Dairy Herd Improvement Association Scholarship for the amount of $400, Bryson Schaefer, Amy Swall, Madeline Fernandez, and Javier Monhe. Receiving the Tulare DHIA Max Corbett Scholarship for the amount of $800, Jacob Fernandez. Receiving the Emilio Curdy Memorial Scholarship for the amount of $1,000, Javier Monhe and Jacob Fernandez. Receiving the Tulare County Beef Booster Scholarship, three recipients, all of which were $2,000. Receiving the Tulare County Dairy Women Scholarship, Alyssa Amaral, $1,000. Chastine Gist, $250. The Tulare, uh, Tulare, Ca Tulare County Cattlewoman Scholarship for the amount of $1,000, Madeline Fernandez, Alyssa Amaral, $500. The Rhonda Berteo Heritage Award for the amount of $500. California Dairy Holstein Bowl, Madeline Fernandez for the amount of $100. The Worldwide Sire Scholarship for the amount of $750, Madeline Fernandez. Tulare Kiwanis Pork Booster Scholarship, both in the amount of $1,000, Kaylee Ballard and Bryson Schaefer. California Table Grape Scholarship, each of which is $25,000, receiving the first, Alyssa Amaral and Amy Swall. EM Tharp Scholarship in the amount of $10,000, Chastine Gist. Lower Thule, Lower Thule Irrigation District in the amount of $10,000, Jacob Fernandez. Receiving the Max, Max Corbett Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Jacob Fernandez and Madeline Fernandez. Tulare County Replacement Heifer Scholarship in the amount of $500, Barrett Nunley, Bryson Schaefer, Joe Valadeo, Jacob Fernandez and Madeline Fernandez. Receiving the Tulare County Cattlemen's Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Amy Swall and Madeline Fernandez. In the amount of $750, Javier Monhe. And in the amount of $500, Alyssa Amaral. Receiving the Brian Faria Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000, Alyssa Amaral, Gianna Benedetti, and Madeline Fernandez. The Jeff Fernandez Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $750, Alyssa Amaral, Gianna Benedetti, Ari Prince. The Tulare County Farm Bureau, Farm Bureau Association Scholarship in the amount of $500 and $1,000. J.D. Haskell in the amount of $500, Alyssa Amaral and Amy Swall. The amount of $1,000, Chastine Gist. The Land Lakes District Membership Scholarship in the amount of $5,000, Jacob Fernandez. Blue Diamond Scholarship in the amount of $1,500, Alyssa Amaral and Amy Swall. Calcott Scholarship in the amount of $2,000, Amy Swall, Alyssa Amaral, Madeline Fernandez. 
Worldwide Sires in the amount of $750, Madeline Fernandez. The Kevin Coolwine Legacy Award in the amount of $250. Dairy Princess for the amount of $250, Madeline Fernandez. Northwest Farm Credit Service in the amount of $2,500, Madeline Fernandez. Farm Credit West in the amount of $1,500, Amy Swall. In the amount of $500, Jacob Fernandez. The amount of $1,500, Madeline Fernandez. Kiwanis Division 18 Agriculture and Conservation Scholarship in the amount of $800, Alyssa Amaral. The Heffelfinger, Heffelfinger Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $775, Chastine Gist, Javier Monhang, Amy Swall, Madeline Fernandez, Alyssa Amaral, Barrett Nunley. All told, our seniors this year, 22 of them, received a total of $385,000 in scholarships throughout the state, district, and national awards. So congratulations to those students and their hard work, and hopefully that money will help them on their way to further their education. Now Ms. Burns will be announcing the Green Hand Officers. This year, the chapter elected six freshmen to serve as Tulare FFA Green Hand Officers. These individuals assisted the chapter officers throughout the year and represented our freshman class. While they didn't get to finish out the year as planned, I am very proud of their eagerness to get involved and serve. I look forward to seeing them grow even more throughout their time in Ag here. Those officers are President Sophia Gomes, Vice President John Michael Ribeiro, Secretary Emily Hunter, Treasurer Jayla Martin, Reporter, Marilyn Valdivia, and Sentinel, Jorge Martin. Congratulations. The officers will now conduct the honorary uh, degree ceremony. Will the officer team please take their places beside me for the honorary chapter member degree ceremony? pleasure to receive honorary members into the FFA. The purpose of this ceremony is to recognize from time to time the efforts others have made on our behalf. Madam Secretary, please read the section of the National Constitution which provides for honorary membership. Honorary membership, farmers, school superintendents, principals, members of boards of education, chapter advisors, teachers, staff members in agriculture education, business people and others who are helping to advance agriculture education and who have rendered outstanding service may be elected to honorary membership by a majority vote of the members present at any regular meeting or convention. Madam Secretary, will you introduce those who are to receive this honor? Madam President, members and guests, I am pleased to read the following names. Mr. and Mrs. Amaral, Mr. and Mrs. Gist, Mr. and Mrs. Monhe, Mr. and Mrs. Pinero, and Mr. and Mrs. Swall. Mr. and Mrs. Amaral, Mr. and Mrs. Gist, Mr. and Mrs. Monhe, Mr. and Mrs. Pinero, Mr. and Mrs. Swall, we honor you for the time and commitment you have made to serve our chapter through your continued support of all FFA members' activities and booster functions. Thank you for all of your support. I welcome you as friends of the FFA. It is, it is my privilege as Sentinel to extend to each of you the symbolic hand clasp of friendship and brotherhood. As a reporter, I am pleased to inform you that the FFA is a national youth organization whose purpose is to develop our cultural leaders. Welcome to the membership. Your contribution 
Chen as a useful citizen in our democracy serves an, as an example for our members to follow. As treasurer, I welcome you to our organization. The MFA needs guidance for, from recognized leaders. It is my pleasure as secretary to add your names to our role of honorary members. As vice president, I welcome you to the FFA. I would inform you that our members learn to appreciate the dignity of labor. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. On behalf of every member, I wish to say we are proud to have you as honorary members. May this affiliation prove valuable to all. I impress upon you that we look to you for counsel and guidance. It is because of the great respect we have for you that you have been elected to honorary membership. May we always cooperate for the benefit of all. I now confer upon you honorary membership in Tulare FFA. Tonight we have some special recognition of members and staff for all their hard work and dedication on our behalf. This year, the Tulare FFA officer team focused on empowering our members to become the true leaders of our chapter. At our meetings, we asked members to speak on a multitude of topics and events. Their reports informed our members how to become involved in our chapter and promoted them to find their fire. As a token of appreciation for these members speaking at our chapter meetings, we'll be presenting them with a pin. The chapter speakers are Abby Garcia, Alyssa Amro, Amy Swall, Ari Prinz, Avery Coelho, Brianna Santos, Bryce Nagel, Chastine Gist, Christian Gonzalez, Clay Costa, Corbett Vanderfeer, Duncan Champagne, Emily Hunter, Emily Irving, Emma Coelho, Fernando Martin, Haley Adkins, Isabella Ribeiro, Jacob Barbaria, Jacob Callison, Jacob Fernandez, Javier Monge, Joseph Koenig, Joseph Panero, Kevin Hofstie, Madeline Fernandez, Mallory Avila, Max Van Beek, Melissa Iniguez, Michaela Medeiros, Morgan Hatton, Nicole Tristo, Rebecca Meza, Sophia Gomes, and Taylor Souza. Thank you for your service to the members of Tulare FFA. May I have Ms. Burns, Mrs. Silva, and Ms. Slover join me on stage. This year, Ms. Burns, Mrs. Silva, and Ms. Slover joined our team of FFA advisors. We have enjoyed getting to know them in the classroom and throughout many activities and, te and teams they have coached. As a token of appreciation, I would like to present you with your gold advisor pin to celebrate becoming official advisors of Slary FFA. Thank you for all you do. I would like to ask Emma Coelho to come to the podium to present this year's Find Your Fire Award. This year, our officer team decided on the theme, Find Your Fire. This theme represents the goals we set this year, which centered on helping our members develop their leadership potential. The Find Your Fire Award is presented to the member that throughout this year exhibited premier leadership, personal growth, and pursued career success. Our recipient is a sophomore at Tulare Western High School who has stepped up this year to be a leader in our chapter. He has challenged himself and stepped out of his comfort zone to develop his true leadership potential. He will be serving the members of the Tulare FFA chapter as this 2020-2021 chapter treasure. Please help me con to congratulate the recipient of the Find Your Fire Award, Corbett Vanderfeer. I am pleased to introduce our chapter historian, Madeline Fernandez, to present our California State FFA degree.
Since 1922, Tulare FFA has had 1,067 members receive their California State FFA degree. In order to qualify for the State FFA degree, members must have completed the following. Completed two years of agriculture education, made or invested $1,000 in their supervised agriculture experience project, worked in an excess of hours of 500 hours in their supervised agricultural project, completed 25 hours of community service, participated in five distinctively different chapter activities and five different chapter level activities, delivered a six minute speech on an agricultural topic. It is my pleasure to announce that this year's 43 recipients, bringing the total number of Tiller FFA members receiving their state FFA degree to 1,110 members. Haley Adkins, Mackenzie Aguirre, Brody Adkins, Samantha Alexander, Harley Allen, Mallory Avila, Mario Benvizidez, Bailey Betancourt, Seth Borba, Avery Catano, Jacob Callison, Emma Quello, Carrington Earl, Earls, Caden Epperson, Blaine Faria, Veronica Faria, Gage Flack, and Angela Garcia, Taylor Gilbert, Ashlyn Gomez, Christian Gonzalez, Morgan Hatton, Kevin Hofstein, Melissa Iniguez, Emily Irving, Joseph Koenig, Eric Larler, Brooklyn Lemmes, Joseph Machado, Marion Martin, Camden Mattis, Michaela Medeiros, Mallory Medonza, Javier Mane, Cameron Moore, Bryce Nagel, Christopher Nuno, Julibet Santos Oguadet, Zachary Shainow, Bryson Schaefer, Haley Smoots, Brooke Souza, and John Valadeo. Please now welcome our reporter, Javier Armani, to present this year's Proficiency Awards. Our chapter has spent the last 15 years trying to revamp our supervised agriculture experience program in an effort to encourage our members to take an active role in developing their career preparation skills. Our advisors require 100% participation by the members in an SAE project. Members who excel in their supervised agriculture experience project are recognized through the Proficiency Award Program. There are 52 different Proficiency Award categories recognized at the local, state, and national level. Students in our chapter have projects such as raising replacement heifers for the Tulare County Fair, testing agri-science fair projects, landscaping businesses, and such more. Many of tonight's awards winners have been recognized as at the sectional, regional, and state level already this year. Many of these students have spent in excess of over 500 hours on their projects and have earned thousands of dollars through their own efforts. We will now present the Tulare FFA Proficiency Award winners. Ag Education Region and Chapter winner, Amy Swall. Ag Meg Design and Fabrication Region and Chapter winner, Ari Prince. AgMEC Repair and Maintenance Chapter Winner, Zach Shainow. Agriculture Processing Chapter Winner, Clay Costa. Agriculture Services Chapter Winner, Brandon Barrow. Every Science Integrated Region and State and Chapter Winner, Emma Quello. Every Science Plant System Chapter, chapter Winner, Sophia Gomes. Beef Production Entrepreneur Chapter Winner, Owen Allen. Dairy Production Entrepreneur, Chapter winner, Jacob Fernandez. Dairy production placement, chapter winner, Javier Monge. Diversified agriculture regional and chapter winner, Michaela Medeiros. Diversified crop placement, chapter winner, Kevin Hofstey. Diversified livestock chapter winner, Bailey Bancourt. Environment, and, environment science and resource management, chapter and region winner, Bryce Nagel. Equine Science Chapter Winner, Harley Allen. Equine Science Placement Chapter Winner, Harley Allen. Forge Production Chapter Winner, Brennan Ribeiro. Goat Production Chapter Winner, Victoria Guayo. Landscaping Management Chapter Winner, Jacob Averia. 
Swine Production Entrepreneur, Chapter Winner, Blaine Faria, and Vegetable Production Chapter Winner, Jada Muniz. Please welcome Amy Swall for the most active member award presentation. This award is earned through the combined efforts of FFA members in the areas of judging teams, livestock show teams, leadership activities, and chapter involvement in the day-to-day -day operations of Tulare FFA. At the end of each school year, the point system is given to the members to compile his or her points. This ranking system enables us to determine who was the most active member in the 2019-2020 school year. Thank you to each of you for truly being bold and creating a lasting legacy within Tulare FFA. Through their active participation, each of the top 25 award winners will be invited to our annual point awards trip to Universal Studios. I will now present this award. Will you please hold your applause until all the winners have been announced? This year's winners are 25th place, Alex Connolly. 24th place, Emily Irving. 23rd place, Jonathan Callison. 22nd place, Austin Wilborn. 21st place, Sophia Gomes. 20th place, Rebecca Meza. 19th place, Corbett Vanderfeer. 18th place, Christian Gonzalez. 17th place, Emily Hunter. 16th place, Avery Quelo. 15th place, Jacob Barbaria. 14th place, Taylor Souza. 13th place, Isab Isabella Ribeiro. 12th place, Jillian Fernandez. 11th place, Chastain Gist. 10th place, Kylie Nagel. 9th place, Madeline Fernandez. 8th place, Ari Prince. 7th place, Amy Swall. 6th place, Bryce Nagel. 5th place, Joseph Panero. 4th place, Javier Monge. 3rd place, Alyssa Amaral. We have a tie for the most active member of Tulare FFA for the 2019-2020 school year. Please congratulate our most active members, Emma Coelho and Michaela Medeiros. Congratulations to each of you and have fun at U Universal Studios. Our next presenters are Javier and Bryce to introduce our judging team awards. Career development events are an important component of Tulare FFA chapter. For 90 years, Tulare has been recognized as a chapter that develops strong leaders in part due to our fierce competitiveness at state and national level in career development events. These CDEs are also known as judging teams. These teams allow students to apply the knowledge they have gained in the classroom in a competitive setting focused on an area they are passionate about. It is our pleasure to recognize the individuals who have competed in career development events this year. Before we begin, we would like to recognize our dedicated coaches who spent countless hours coaching our teams. Karim Catano, Shane Brazil, Dakota Burns, Debbie Silva, Sammy Slover, Ryan Hopper, Hector Rita, Dave Catano, Landon Fernandez, Hugh Callison, Mike Medeiros, Shay Williams, Jared Castle, and Jennifer Souza. The teams we're about to announce will not be able to be presented tonight without the dedication and wisdom of these individuals. These people spend weekends away from their family to attend contests and hours coaching us to be competitive before and after school. But more than that, they are teaching us skills that will one day make us employable. Thank you to each of our coaches for their support, passion, and love. We will not be as successful as we were without you. Hey, Javi. What's up, man? How did the power drill get to the destination? It was Milwaukee. You know, like the drill brand, Milwaukee? Anyways, the agriculture mechanics team demonstrates their skills through welding, plumbing, woodwork, electrical, and surveying. Please help me recognize this year's team members. Rogelio Ramirez, Jacob Barbaria, Javier Monge, and Corbett Vanderfeer. Agriculture Issues team created a presentation, creates a presentation based on controversial and current agriculture issues. Team members are required to present a 15-minute debate without reaching a conclusion. They, they, then they are asked a series of unknown questions about their topic. This year's, please help us congratulate this year's team 
Emma Quelo, Alyssa Amaral, Amy Swa, Justin Giz, and Gianna Benedetti. The Agricultural Marketing Plan team works alongside with local businesses to put together a presentation based on the product generated by that business. They compete at the state level, delivering their marketing plan to a panel of judges. Please congratulate this year's team. Annaline De, De Santiago, Avery Coelho, Isabella Rivero. The Farm Power team demonstrates their skills within a variety of areas. This team is required to take a safety test, drive tractors, troubleshoot, and identify various mechanical parts. Congrats to our team, Brandon Ribeiro, Ari Prince, Bryce Nagel, Jake Brinkley, Joseph Pinero, Manuel Santos, Dawson Faria, Joseph Cardoza, Oswaldo Marquez, and Owen Allen. Did you hear about the orange boxer? No. He got beaten to pulp. The citrus judging team evaluates classes of fruit, gives multiple sets of reasons, as well as completes a as well as compete in the identification class. Help me to congratulate this year's team, Corbett Vanderfield, Taylor Gilbert, Jillian Fernandez, Kylie Nagel, Taylor Souza, Avery Coelho, and Mal Mallory Avila. The Tulare Fave Cotton team judges classes of cotton and then gives a set of reasons on the class given to them. They also judge a class of cotton seeds. Please welcome this year's cotton team members, Emma Coelho, Avery Coelho, Julian Fernandez, Joseph Cardoza, Curtis Ashford, and Mason Garcia. In the, in the area of extemporaneous public speaking, students draw, an ag students draw an agricultural topic and are given 30 minutes to prepare a four to six minute speech. Please help me congratulate this year's exempt speakers. Emily Irving, Avery Coelho, Jacob Fernandez, Carrie Ann Euros, In dairy judging, students evaluate dairy cattle and formulate oral reasonings to justify their placing. The 2020 team consists of Max Van Beek, Julian Fernandez, John Michael Ribeiro, Sophia Gomes, Dylan Rose, Dylan Denise, Maddie Fernandez, Dylan Garcia, and Gianna Samoyes. I believe in the future of this next team. The Creed Speaking Competition is specifically for freshman members enabling students to develop their speaking ability by delivering the five paragraphs of FA Creed and answering the questions about it as well. Congratulations to our team members, Emily Hunter, Alina Faria, Sophia Gomes, John Michael Ribeiro, and Gianni Samoyes. Career preparation is evident in our next area. The job interview contest puts students in a mock interview along with evaluating their application, resume, and cover letter. Please welcome the 2020 job interview team. Ari Prince, Javier Monge, Amy Swall, Max Van Beek, Jacob Barberia, Joseph, Mas Joseph Machado, Michaela Medeiros, and Abigail Garcia. Vine pruning gives students the chance to demonstrate their skill in pruning a variety of grapevines, so congratulations to this year's team, Alyssa Amaral, Jonathan Calson, Austin Wilborn, Michaela Medeiros, Javier Monge, and Isabella Ribeiro. What do you get from a pampered cow? What? Spoiled milk. And that's just what about this team tastes and smells. The Dairy Products Contest was made famous internationally by Napoleon Dynamite, but locally by the members of this year's competitive team. Students demonstrate their ability to evaluate dairy products, grade tests, and sample analysis. Please congratulate Michaela Medeiros, Lauren Quinn, Abby Garcia, Victoria Guayo, Austin Wilborn, and Audrey Reyes. In the era of prepared public speaking, Tulare was well represented as several students competed by delivering their six to eight minute speech on the pressing agricultural issue. The 2020 prepared public speakers are Isabella Ribeiro, Nicole Turisto, Maddie Liu, and Emma Coelho. So you think you know everything there is about FFA? Well, these next students do. They are the best informed Greenhand team. This team is made up of freshmen who take a 200 question test on FFA history and facts. Please welcome Elena Faria, Emily Hunter, 
Ar- Autumn Carver, Viani Galagos, Brianna Romero. What kind of headaches do farmers get? Migraines. The agronomy team judges seeds, plants, and also competes in an identification class. The members are Rebecca Meza, Juan Pantajona, Curtis Ashford, and Christian Gonzalez. The impromptu speaking contest is for sophomores. This contest consists of two rounds where the speaker draws a topic from a hat and then has 30 seconds to prepare what they will say and then have one minute to talk about their topic. Topics are based on leadership questions, quotes, and sound, sound bites. This year's team members is Alex Rice, Jaden Muniz, Ellen de Santiago, Aiden Champion, Champion, Duncan Champion, Dylan Rose, and Curtis Ashford. The Agri Science Fair is a science fair in which the projects are related to the agri- agricultural industry. The Agri Science Fair is held at the California State Conference. So please help me in congratulating Emma Coelho, Avery Coelho, and Sophia Gomes. What kind of music do welders like? Heavy metal. The welding team is given a project and to, com- to complete in a certain amount of time. And then they are scored based on how well the project was completed. They also have to create a career portfolio that includes a resume, cover letter, and samples of their welding skills. This congratulate this year's team Billy Bennett Zach Shaynow, Ken Halstey, Bryce Nagel, Harrison Rocha, and Dominic Markin. The grapevine judging gives, gives students the chance to demonstrate their skill to identifying the quality and characteristics of grapevines. These students will be competing at the virtual state finals on June 26th. Congratulations to this year's team, Alyssa Amaral, Isabel Ribeiro, Austin Wilborn and Michaela Medeiros. The cooperative marketing team demonstrates their knowledge of agriculture cooperatives. Lando Lakes, SunMade, and Blue Diamond are among the many cooperatives this team studies. Congrats to our team, Madeline Fernandez, Ellis Amaral, Rebecca Meza, Billy Bannacourt, and Chastine Gist. Show me the money. That famous line from Jerry Maguire is the mantra of our next team. The agricultural banking team studies the details and are tested on the details of farm credit and production credit systems. The members are Alyssa Amaral, Adam Cardoza, Gianna Benedetti, Rebecca Meza, and Chastine Giss. I'm out of order and you're out of order. Our parliamentary procedure teams are experts in maintaining the order and conducting meetings. Congratulations to the members, Adriana Alvarez, Aledea Ceballos, Sofia Gomes, Emma Hesting, Emily Hunter, Savannah Johnson, and Taylor LaPointe. The veterinary science team was added this year to our roster of CDEs. It prepares students for careers in animal veterinary science, so please help us in congratulating the members. Lorena Vera, Elia Peniz, and Lizel Casillas, as well as Salinas Solduna, Jada Muniz, and Emma, Emma Hastings. The meat judging team was added this year to our rosters of CDEs. It prepares students for careers in animal and food science. Please help me in congratulating the members, Emma Quelo, Avery Quelo, Chastin Giz, Taylor Gilbert, Mallory Avila, Kylie Nagel, and Camden Mottos. We would like to congratulate all the members who took time to learn about a CDE team and invested in their future by learning new skills, which will help them make them employable. We are proud of your hard work and dedication that each of you have put into this judging year. Please welcome to the stage some VIPs, the VIPs of Tulare FA chapter, Alyssa Amaral, Joseph Panero and Chastine Giss to recognize our chapter committee members. This year, the chapter brought back committees to allow more students to get involved. There are three committees that students participated in. Strengthening Agriculture. 
This committee focuses on chapter recruitment, agriculture ab advocacy, and agriculture literacy. The committee started a new tradition of creating blogs to post on social media to keep students and parents updated in a fun way. Students also developed fun facts about agriculture to reach members on social media. Students who participated on this committee are as follows. Alyssa Amro, Emma Coelho, Michaela Medeiros, Bryce Nagel, Clay Costa, Jillian Fernandez, Christian Gonzalez, Kevin Hofstie, Emily Irving, Justin Machado, Carson Myrick, Kylie Nagel, Juan Ocampo, Isabella Ribeiro, Taylor Souza. Growing Leaders. This committee is student driven. They focus on leadership and personal growth. They recognize students on social media that were going above and beyond and recruited students for various events. Students who participated on this committee are as follows. Chastine Gist, Javier Monge, Madeline Fernandez, Max Van Beek, J.D. Valadeo, Bailey Quillen, Corbett Vanderfeer, Luke Fernandez, Jacob Fernandez, and John Michael Ribeiro. Building Communities. This committee is all about serving our community in any way possible. Throughout the year, students organized a toy drive, supply collection for the Lighthouse Rescue Mission, Happy Trails Cleanup, and a sock drive to donate to Twin Oaks elderly residents. Students who participated in this committee are as follows. Amy Swall, Joseph Pinero, Ari Prinz, Jacob Beberia, Taylor Reed, and Joseph Koenig. Thank you, committee members, for answering the call to find your fire. Please welcome to the stage the officer who enjoys driving tractors and welding, Ari Prinz, to present the FFA Letter Award. The FFA Achievement Letter is used to recognize FFA members who have been committed to their chapter. The letter can be worn proudly around campus with the knowledge that these are truly members who have excelled in the FFA. There are minimum requirements that an FFA member must attain in order to receive the award. They are minimum of two years in the FFA, particip participation in one of the following, two years of showing or two years on a judging team, five hours of FFA related community service, 15 FFA activities at the chapter, chapter level or higher, participation in one of the following leadership activities, one speaking contest, chapter sectional regional officer, or one leadership conference, a minimum of, three, of a 3.0 GPA or better in ag classes. The following members have excelled in the requirements and will be awarded these, their letters tonight. From Mission Oak, Carrie Ann Earls, Jillian Fernandez, Madeline Fernandez. From Tulare Union High School, Brooklyn Lemus. From Tulare Western High School, Bailey Betancourt, Avery Coelho, Faith Fisher, and Isabella Ribeiro. Please wear your FFA letter with pride. Congratulations to each of you. Please welcome to the stage, jo stage Joseph Panero to present the Blue and Gold Program Completer Chords. By the time seniors have been in our program for four years, they have taken a minimum of four agriculture education courses, learning hands-on skills that have helped them to become prepared for entrance into a career. Members of this graduating class have learned how to weld, problem solve, articulate verbal reasons in front of an audience, feed and groom livestock for show, propagate plants, arrange flowers, give injections, solve genetic equations, and created resumes, just to name a few skills. Seniors, please will your cords at graduation next week with pride, as you have truly earned them. I ask you to please hold all applause until the entire list of recipients have been read. The 2020 recipients are Victoria Aguayo, Mackenzie Aguilar, Jasmine Aguilar, Alyssa Amaral, Beverly Arvias, Emily Avila, Katie Ballard, Gianna Benedetti, Jacob Beberia, Bailey Betancourt, Jake Brinkley, Adam Cardoza. Marissa Caro, Tyler Coelho, Clay Costa, Haley Furia, Nicole Furia, Veronica Furia, Jacob Fernandez, Madeline Fernandez, Jacqueline Fish, Gage Flack, Cole Freitas, 
Gabriella Gayton, Chastine Gist, Cesar Gomez, Julia Consalvage, Jordan Harding, Ariana Hernandez, Jocelyn Herta, Joseph Koenig, Eric Lawler, Mackenzie Machado, Sarah Mancibo, Dominic Marquin, Fernando Martin, Kaylee McGill, Dakota Mendonca, Haley Metheny, Rebecca Meza, Javier Monge, Cameron Moore, Steve Morales, Carson Myrick, Barrick Nunley, Christopher Nuno, Jennifer Onsures, Juan Panoda, San Savannah Parker, Alaya Perez, Joseph Panero, Ari Prince, Bailey Quillen, Taylor Reed, Brandon Ribeiro, Jonathan Rising, Sarah Salazar, Manuel Santos, Julie Biet Santos, Zachary Shaynow, Bryson Shafter, Amy Swall, Dylan Thomas, Carrington Tyner, Sarica Torres, Jasmine Toll, John Valadeo, Max Van Beek, Lorena Vera, Macy Vieira, and Kelsey Wilson. Please join me in congratulating these recipients. Please welcome Mr. Dudo to the stage to present the Academic Achievement Award. It is my distinct pleasure to present the next award for academic success to three deserving senior members in the chapter. This award was extremely competitive this year as over 10 of our graduating seniors earned a 4.0 GPA or higher. The Academic Achievement Award is given to one senior student from each school that has achieved scholastic excellence throughout their high school education and has the highest cumulative grade point average. These students are well-rounded in their FFA and SAE participation as well. Representing Mission Oak High School with a 4.7143 GPA is a young man who has been an active member of Tulare FFA, most notably judging dairy, dairy and cattle and competing in extemporaneous public speaking. He has also assisted in a multitude of fundraisers, chapter meetings, and community service activities. He will be attending Harvard University in the fall. The 2020 Academic Award winner is awarded to the senior who has the highest GPA and outstanding record of FFA involvement. Please help me in congratulating Mr. Jacob Fernandez. Please welcome to the stage our 2019 Star Green Hand, Ms. Avery Coelho, to present our 2020 Star Green Hand. The Green Hand degree is awarded to the first year members in the FFA program who meet minimum qualifications. The Green Hand signifies th that this student is pledging to continue their agriculture journey through the FFA, thus leading to, cre to the creation of the Star Green Hand Award. The chapter's most active first year member who has a strong supervised agriculture experience program and has demonstrated leadership within the chapter is selected as the Star Greenham member. The winner of this award will also receive a $500 travel, travel stipend to attend National FFA Convention. Our Star Greenham is Sophia Gomes. Sophia has been very involved within our chapter just in her first year. She spends a lot of time, a lot of her time this year judging on the dairy cattle CDE and Parley Pro LDE, as well as competing in the opening and closing ceremonies and in Creed speaking contests. Meanwhile, continuing to work on her ag agri-science project. Great work and congratulations to Sophia. I would like to introduce Michaela Medeiros, last year's Star Chapter of Fade degree recip recipient to announce this year's winner. The STAR Chapter FFA degree highlights the outstanding sophomore in our program. The outstanding sophomore evaluates our members' commitment to the three-year 
three-ring model of agriculture education and rewards them for their hard work. Tulare Western is home to Isabella Ribeiro. Isabella will be serving as the next San Joaquin Region Regional Vice President and next year's Chapter Secretary. Isabella is a member of the Vine Printing Team, Marketing Plan Team, and Prepared Public Speaking Team. Isabella also competes at the Tulare County Fair with the Dairy Show Team. She is a prime example of service, of service before self, and we are excited to see her future in this organization. Congratulations, Isabella. Please welcome our president, Amy Swall, last year's recipient of the to rep last year's recipient to present the Star Junior Award. We would like to take this opportunity to recognize the Star Junior. The Star Junior Award evaluated our members' commitment to the three ring model of agriculture education and rewards them for their hard work. Tulare Western is home to our Star Junior Award recipient. She has served this year as the chapter treasurer. She is a member of the Ag Issues Team, Prepared Public Speaking Team. She earned her state FFA degree this year thanks to her Sheep Entrepreneurship SAE project, an agri-science research project. It is my pleasure to present the Star Junior Award to Miss Emma Coelho. Congrats, Emma. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Chastain Gist to represent the Star Chapter Farmer Award. Tulare County is home to some of the most fertile and productive soils in our nation. There is no better place for Tulare FA members to learn about production agriculture than right here in our town. The Star Farmer Award is presented to the chapter members who have an outstanding supervised agriculture experience program in production agriculture. These award winners truly embody the FA motto, learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, and living to serve. Tulare Western is home to Emma Coelho. Emma has built up an impressive flock of sheep. She has exhibited her lambs up and down the state of California, where she has earned many awards for the quality of her lambs. She is a member of the Ag Issues Team and Sheep Show Team, placing highly in both, and has participated in the Prepared Public Speaking Contest. Congratulations, Emma. Please welcome Alyssa Amaral to present the Star in Agribusiness Award. The chapter member who has an outstanding supervised agricultural experience program in agricultural business and demonstrates involvement in all phases of the chapter's operations is awarded the Star Chapter Agribusiness Award. Our recipient this year is a junior from Tulare Western who owns his own landscaping business where he provides lawn care services to families in Tulare. When he is, isn't helping with mowing lawns, Jacob is a member of the Tulare FFA Ag Mechanics team and will be attending the AMPED conference at San Luis Obispo to help hone in on his skills. Because of his hard work and efforts, Jacob received the state FFA degree this year as well. Please help me in recognizing Jacob Barbaria, our 2020 Star Chapter Ag Business Award winner. Our chapter historian, Madeline Fernandez, will be presenting the Star and Ag Placement Award. Thank you, Alyssa. Job shadowing, internships, and holding entry-level positions in agriculture help our FFA members be eligible for the award of Star Chapter Ag Placement. The chapter member who has the most outstanding supervised agricultural experience program in agricultural placement is recognized as the Star Chapter Ag Placement Award winner. The member's placement experience may be in the areas of production agriculture, agricultural business, or laboratory science which is not agri-science or natural resource based. Our recipient is a young man from Mission Oak High School. He is not at school or competing on the farm power team. You may find him at JNA Manufacturing. During his time working at JNA, he has worked over 3,500 hours manufacturing feed mixers and dairy equipment. He has been the Tulare FFA Chapter Sentinel for two years in a row. Please help me welcome and congratulating Mr. Ari Prince. We would like to call to the stage our Star in Ag Placement, Ari Prince, to present the Star in AgriScience Award.
Star Agri-Science Award is presented to the individual who is an outstanding supervised agriculture experience program that involves agriculture science research. The member must also be involved in all aspects of the FFA program and demonstrating outstanding leadership qualities. Described as bubbly, outgoing, and friendly by many of her teachers and friends, she sure knows how to make an impact on those around her. However, it is also known that she can be very serious and determined. She is always willing to do her best to accomplish any task put before her. These qualities are more allowed more ha and more allowed her to complete an agri-science project on the testing and antimicrobial on beef prim primals. In addition, she completed in prepared speaking and won showmanship with her reserve grand champion lamb. She will be serving as Tulare FFA president for the 2020-2021 school year. Please put your hands together for this year's Tulare FFA star agri-science winner, Emma Coelho. We will now have a tribute to the class of 2020. At this point in the banquet, we'd like to pay tribute to our seniors. I just want to congratulate all the seniors that are graduating this year from Tulare FFA. As many of you probably know, I was part of the Tulare FFA back when it used to be Tulare Union and Tulare Western. Now you're all combined. Many great memories, and I'm so sad that a lot of you didn't get to experience the end of your senior year. But you have the fond memories, the things that you'll remember, the things that you've learned. Uh, you'll be going off to college or a trade school or junior college or being involved in agriculture. And even if you're never involved in agriculture, you'll remember this experience for the rest of your life. So congratulations to all of you that are graduating and thank you for having me. She was staring out the window of their SUV complaining saying I can't wait to turn 18. She said I'll make my own money and I'll make my own rules. Mama put the car in park out there in front of the school and she kissed her head and said I was just like you. You're gonna miss this You're gonna want this back You're gonna wish these days Hadn't gone by so fast These are some good times So take a good look around You may not know it now But you're gonna miss this she knows it she's a brand new bride in her one bedroom apartment and her daddy stops by he tells her it's a nice place she says it'll do for now starts talking about babies and buying a house and daddy shakes his head and says baby just slow down Cause you're gonna miss this You're gonna want this back You're gonna wish these days Hadn't gone by so fast These are some good times So take a good look around You may not know it now But you're gonna miss this Now welcome Javier Monge to present the DeKalb Award. The, De the DeKalb Our Culture Accomplishment Award was created in 1947 to help recognize an outstanding senior in our culture. The award was encouraged, encourages excellence in scholarship leadership, and supervised agriculture experience program. In addition, it is a way to focus attention on our agriculture careers and the many talented youths pursuing careers in agriculture. The sponsor for this award is DeKalb Genetics Corporation, a leading research firm. Our award winner likes to spend his free time working for his family's business, JNA Manufacturing. 
He also shows their replacement heifers at the, at the Tulare County Fair. Thanks to his commitment to his excellence, he has been recognized at the state level as a proficiency award finalist. He has served as a member of the job interview team, grapevine printing team, farm power team, while in high school. He will be attending Ridley College, participating in the Caterpillar Diesel Program. Please help me recognize the 2020 DeKalb Award winner, Mr. Ari Prince. Now, Bryce Snagle will present the Certificate of Achievement. Throughout students' four years of participation in Tulare FA, they are encouraged to grow and prosper in FA, their SC, and the classroom. This award is given to the senior student who has made huge strides during the high school career and developed qualities stated within the FA mission statement, personal growth, premier leadership, and career success. This student has worked over the last four years to truly come out of their shell. She has pushed herself to try and accomplish new goals each and every year. During her four years as a member, she has been a member of the dairy products and dairy cattle team, shown dairy cattle, been a chapter officer, and learned what it takes to be a servant leader. She is focused and determined to step outside of her comfort zone. In the fall, she plans to major in ag science at Fresno State, where she was accepted into the Smith Camp Honor College. I admire her and kind personality and her ability to always be the best version of herself. Please help me in congratulating Madeline Fernandez as a Tulare FA Certificate Achievement Award winner. Please help me in congratulating, oh, my bad. Next, we'll have Emma Quillo present the Certificate of Merit Award. is presented to an outstanding senior member who has been actively involved in all aspects of our chapter and demonstrates outstanding leadership skills. This student has worked over the last four years to truly become an outstanding leader in the FFA and on campus. During her four years as a member, she has been a member of the Ag Issues Team, Beef Cattle Show Team, been a chapter officer and a regional officer. She is focused and determined to step outside of her comfort zones. In the fall, she plans to attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Please help me in congratulating Gianna Benedetti as the Tulare FFA Certificate of Merit Award winner. Michaela will now present the Tulare FFA Foundation Award. The FFA Foundation Award is presented each year to the graduating senior that has been active in a broad variety of FFA school and community activities. This year's Foundation Award winner knows what it means to be covered in dirt, grime, and hay from a hard day's work, and she loves the smell of sheep. She has worked hard during her four years as an FFA member by participating on the sheep show team, ag issues team, job interview team, and meet judging team. She attended MFE, ALA and State Convention and served as Chapter Officer. Anyone who knows her can't help but be lifted up by her positive personality. She has served our organization as the 2019-2020 Tulare FA, Tulare Western Vice President with respect, dedication, and pride. She will be transitioning from a Tulare Western Mustang to a Cal Poly Mustang. To accept the FA Foundation Award, please help me congratulate Ms. Chastine Gist. Please help me welcome Bryce Nagel to the stage once more to present the Tulare FFA Legacy Award. The Tulare FFA Legacy is selected to highlight the Tulare FFA member and agricultural student who exhibits personal growth, leadership qualities. Along with winning Tulare FFA Legacy Award, this student will be awarded a memorial scholarship in the name of Mr. Kevin Colwine. This individual is very involved in our chapter, serving as an officer for the past two years. They have helped our chapter to grow and excel as a whole. 
This individual is very caring and strives to build personal connections with as many members as possible. Many members have become more involved and felt more included within our chapter because of, because of this individual's help and guidance. Some of these individuals, some of this most, this individual's most astounding accomplishments are state FA degree recipient, state job interview participant, ag issues team member, sheep exhibitor, and Sacramento leadership participant. Not only has a student been active in their FA chapter, but she also spends lots of time with her dad and sisters duck hunting. She will attend CSU Fresno to major in ag business. It is an honor to, to present the 2020 Toler FA Legacy Award and Kevin Coolwine Memorial Scholarship to Miss Amy Swall. Now, Mr. Merdeos will present the Toler FA Heritage Award. The Tulare FA Heritage Award, formerly known as the Advanced Register Award, is selected to showcase the Tulare FA member and agriculture student who has gone above and beyond during their four years in the program. This student must exhibit personal growth, leadership potential, and have gained skills that will make them successful in the agriculture industry. The list of previous award recipients is long and distinguished, including farmers, congressmen, lawyers, politicians, journalists, and scientists. This is the highest honor Tulare FA presents to its membership. Along with winning the Tulare FA Heritage Award, the student will be awarded a memorial scholarship in the name of Rhonda Berteo. Ms. Berteo was an active FA member in the Tulare Western FA chapter, and this scholarship is provided by her family in her name to remember her legacy. This individual never fails to put the needs of others above their own needs. They are selfless and caring, always working to become a better person and to help others when needed. The guidance this person gives to other members has allowed, them to re allowed others to reach their full potential because this individual was always able to show them the possibilities within our chapter and help them to achieve and reach beyond their goals. Some of the, this individual's most outstanding accomplishments are state FA degree recipient, state prepared public speaking participant, advisors award, state champion citrus judging team, ag issues team, ag banking team, grapevine judging team, co-ops judging team member, vine pruning judging team, sheep exhibitor, Sacramento leadership participant. Not only has this student been active with our FA chapter, but she has also held a part-time job with Bite Me Mini Donuts. She will attend CSU Fresno to major in ag business, where she hopes to become an agricultural lobbyist and one day run for public office. It is an honor to present the 2020 Tulare FFA Heritage Award and Rhonda Proteo Scholarship to Miss Alyssa Amaro. May I have the 2019-2020 officer team uh, on stage? I wanted to take a few moments and recognize uh, the officer team for the 2019-20 uh, school year. While it's been a different school year, at the beginning of this year, this team set some lofty goals. We as advisors have challenged them to begin to step out of the spotlight and put others in our chapter in that spotlight. We challenge them to teach the other, the other members to become leaders. When you reflect back on this banquet and the fact that over 175 students' names were called and recognized, I would say that they have done an excellent job doing just that. They accepted the challenge, they took it on, they created more blogs than we've ever had before, keeping members informed, promoted more leaders, drawing them out of their shell, having them speak at meetings and participate in different events, and as the advisor, there is no way I can highlight just one member because they've all been tremendous. 
So it was with great pride that I thanked them for doing just what we set out to do, which was to create leaders in Tulare FFA. So please, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for the 2019-2020 Tulare FFA officer team. And now, without further ado, I will turn the bank, turn the award ceremony back over to Amy Swall. Let's have one more round of applause for all of our award recipients and winners this evening. Please help me in thanking the following individuals who helped make this night possible. Mrs. Chavez and Mr. Dudo, who helped with organizing the banquet. This year's chapter officer team, who worked hard to provide opportunities for member, members all year long. Our parents, administrators, school board members, families, and friends. And lastly, our chapter advisors, Mr. Medeiros, Mrs. Burns, Mr. Castle, Mrs. Silva, Ms. Slover, and Mrs. Souza, and our student teachers, Mr. Guerra, Mr. Brazil, and Ms. Padilla, who have always encouraged us to reach beyond expectations. Before we end tonight, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the 2020-2021 Chapter Officer Team. Please join us on stage when I call your name. President Emma Coelho. Tulare Western Vice President Michaela Medeiros. Tulare Union Vice President Emily Irving. Mission Oak Vice President Bryce Nagel. Secretary Isabella Ribeiro. Secretary of Records Jillian Fernandez. Treasurer Corbett Vanderfeer. Reporter Avery Quelo. Sentinel Christian Gonzalez. Parliamentarian Curtis, a Curtis Ashford. Historian Sophia Gomes. And Chaplain Lizelle Casillas. Newly elected officers, you have been asked by the membership to be a servant leader for the following year. Remember to be humble, kind, and most importantly, to serve the members of Tulare FFA and this organization. Build traditions, break, ba break boundaries, and have fun. Thank you to everyone for attending tonight's awards ceremony and for showing continued support to, to Tulare FFA. I will now turn over the podium to Emma Quillo, our newly elected president for the 2020-2021 year. Emma, I would like to present to you with your official gavel. May you use this to preside over meetings and serve all members of the Tulare FFA chapter. Madam Secretary, do you have a record of any further business which should properly come before this meeting? I have none, Madam President. Does any member know of any new or unfinished business which should probably come before this banquet? We are about to adjourn the banquet of the Tulare FFA chapter. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent in labor, just in our dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me to a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I now adjourn this banquet of the Tulare FFA chapter. <laughs>